Okay, so just in case anyone's under any illusions that I don't actually use my knives or uh, that I have any safe queens, this is my new Boker Excalibur Decade Edition, as you can see there on the blade. And uh, if you take a look, this is pretty well used so far. I've only had this a week, and it's just helped me here. I've been setting up a new YouTube studio, studio in uh, my new basement, in my new home. We had a bit of a flooding issue a couple of days ago. All my uh, knives and EDC gear nearly got soaked. They survived. We've dried up the flooding. We've got contractors coming in next week, but um, I got myself set up in the basement, ready to make some videos. And you can see this is covered in oil and dirt and fingerprints. And there's probably a few scratches underneath all that muck. It's not sharp anymore. It's not clean and it doesn't look as pretty as it should. So I'm going to go and clean this up and I'll be right back with a full review for you guys. Alright guys, let's start over and start at the beginning this time. This is the box that the Boker Excalibur Deck Edition comes in. I think it's the same box as the standard one. They do a number of different uh, versions of this. There's a standard G10 and 440C blade. They do various wood handles. Uh, but it was the Decade Edition, which is carbon fibre and VG10 that kind of caught my attention. I've been looking at picking up one of these blades for a long time. I was kind of intrigued by the design, and uh, this kind of pushed me over the edge. I also saw a number of different people get one of these. Uh, Fat Man, Knife Junkie 13, Dutch uh, Dutch Knife Guy, I think, picked one up. And quite a few people that I watched reviews on that I subbed to. So that kind of tipped me over the edge, and I went ahead and purchased one of these. So let's open it up and see. There's nothing very interesting on the box. Just has a product code there, and uh, unfortunately made in China, but that is what it is. So there's nothing else in the box. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. First thing we get to is this, which I guess is warranty information. Congratulations on your Boker knife. This is actually my first Boker knife. I'm a little ashamed to say, but they, I've never really seen designs that totally grabbed me. So uh, it took one of these to to uh, make me take the plunge and get my first Boker. So there, the first thing you see when you open up the box is the beautiful carbon fiber scale on this. It's a really sweet design and. Um, yeah, just uh, I love the patterning on that carbon fiber. It's very neat. Uh, so let's take the knife out and see what else we have in here. Below the knife, we have a couple of little things, which is quite cool. That they've included. There's a little uh, kind of a little wrench there for the kind of unique design on the pivot. We'll get to that later. Put that to the side, and also uh, what looks like a little Allen key or hex key, but it's actually got Torx ends on it, which is the correct size for adjusting the. The torque screws in the handle scales so pretty cool they include stuff like that I wish more manufacturers would do that stuff like it's not really costing them very much um, a couple of cents to include those so why not it's a it's a nice touch for the customer so let's look at the knife itself it's a bit of a different flipper design this is a front flipper you can see here the the, the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> the, kind of the heel or tang of the blade protrudes below the front of the handle here so you can actually just reach over the top, grab that with your finger, forefinger or middle finger if you prefer, and flip it up. So you can do it in slow motion. This is a liner lock, of course, or you can flip it up like so. Nice action on this. You can also grab it with your thumb and kind of come round the side. You can see that's probably even quicker. So there's a few different ways to open it, which is nice. And really nice smooth action on this. It is on ball bearings. You can see there it's really effortless and uh, yeah quite a nice nice action on the flipper so let's have a look at that pivot it's quite a neat design if my camera will focus for us there you go and you can see there where that kind of unique style little wrench is for fitting into these little holes here to adjust that um, on the other side this is set this I kept pocket clip the way it was uh, when it came which is for a right hand tip down carry um, it is reversible you can see there three holes there uh, but it is right hand carry only, so I'll probably change it around and do tip up right hand. But I'm afraid for lefties there is no left hand carry option, which is a bit of a shame. If we tip it up here, we can see it has titanium liners, which have been anodized this kind of bluish purple color, which is very cool. Um, and I know the standard uh, model of the Excalibur has a red um, fiber insert here as well, which kind of clashes a little bit with the blue. Uh, the blue also matches the pocket clip, of course. Uh, but on this one, they've kept it kind of low key with carbon fiber and just the anodized blue titanium, and that is a very cool look if you ask me. 
Um, I haven't carried this very much yet, so not really seeing too much wear on the pocket clip, but I'm guessing that will scuff up a little bit along the edges. And uh, yeah, the overall look of the knife I think is very cool. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Apologies for that. Let me see if I have a cloth here somewhere. Nope, I don't. I'm just going to have to use a t-shirt. There you go. Um, so let's flip it open and have a look at this blade. Lovely hologram blade. Um, three and a half inch blade, eight inches overall, this knife. And just around, I think it's around three, around three inches, so it's quite nice and lightweight. You can see there, if I can steady it, Boker Plus 2005-2015, hence the Decade Edition. And this is a limited run of 600, if I can get the light on it there. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, you can probably see the top here. This is number 403 of 600, so not a great number, but, you know, I got one, that's the main thing. And uh, certainly glad I did, because this is a very cool knife. You can see the liner lock there. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the lock up. Focus on the lock up for us. Yeah, so 100% of the kind of the lock bar is engaged there, right in the middle of the, the heel of the blade, and yeah, nice solid lock on this. Yeah, zero side to side, zero up and down play. And as I say, nice and smooth, no stick, no rock. Um, really nice action on it. Other side of the blade, we have the designer's name, Skeller. Uh, this is actually, I believe, uh, a version of one of his custom knife designs. So, again, it's this kind of modern trend of uh, taking high end production or, or custom or mid tech knife designs and turn them into pretty affordable versions. This is in VG10, as you can see. And uh, yeah, even the Decade Edition, which is kind of the top of the line version of the Excalibur, is um, I think it's about 140 US retail. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. Um, I think you can probably get a little bit less than that if you do live in the States. And uh, the standard one, the G10 handle scales, I think is only around $65, something like that, US. So pretty affordable, really, and uh, great, uh, great fun knife to play with with that flipper style. Um, quite large for EDC, being 8, eight inches overall. There is a smaller version, Skeletor 2, which has the same design, also has a little nail nick on the blade for it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean it's quite slim and it's very lightweight. Uh, so the pocket time I have had with it has been pretty enjoyable. It hasn't really uh, been too obtrusive in the pocket, so we'll definitely be carrying this a lot more. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, when this came to me, it was uh, razor blade sharp. I have used it a little bit, and it did dull up reasonably quickly. Uh, let's. I just touched it up recently, so let's have a look and see what we have now. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, because I can hardly hear that. Yeah, pretty, pretty damn sharp. And that's, um, I would say, comparable. Maybe not quite as good as it came to me, but uh, pretty damn close. And one of the first things this knife did was actually bit me on the finger. If you uh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, Everyday Knife Guy, you will have seen that no doubt. It was uh, I was literally playing with it just an hour or two after I got it, and it gave me a pretty nasty bite in the finger. There was quite a lot of blood, so uh, I found out it was sharp very quickly. And that that kind of deep face and that deep hollow grind is is uh, really nice for slicing. And as you can see, it's pretty pretty sharp. So uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just. Uh, just enjoy myself there. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Really, really nice blade. Um, and not too expensive if you want to pick up something that is a bit of a limited run. And uh, definitely don't think you'll regret it. The carbon fiber is lovely. Goes really nicely with that blue titanium liner. The performance is great. Slicing ability, cutting. Uh, would be decent for EDC tasks. It's nice and light. Um, although it's quite a large blade for some people. It's, uh, you know, not a hefty blade to be lugging around with you all day or go for the smaller version and imagine I don't know the prices off the top of my head on it but I would guess it's even even less than this so very affordable you can see their blade centering is reasonable slightly off to this side um, but not a big deal certainly not rubbing and uh, not impeding that great flipper action you can hear there a nice solid lock up and uh, yeah once you get one of these in your hand, and once you've mastered that flip, which I'll admit took me five minutes to kind of get into it. Um, and it's nice to just open it manually, nice and slowly like that as well. 
that once you get the hang of that flip, uh, it's a lot of fun to play with. So there you have it guys, that's the Boker Excalibur Decade Edition. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, I've been slacking a bit in the videos recently, there's been a lot going on with work and moving house and so on. Um, I got a few nice to review, so we will try and crank out some videos over the next month, see if we can do at least one a week for you guys. And I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.